Dave, overall, a really strong performance from Julio. Did he take a step forward in terms of what you'd like to see from him? He did. It, I, I thought, you know, and I can't recall every outing that he's had, but I thought this one was one of his more, uh, you know, one of his best outings that he's had as far as the entire pitch mix. I, I just really liked it. There's a lot to, a lot of good to take away from tonight from Julio. There's just a certain conviction from him when he comes out of the bullpen or when it's not in that first inning, kind of similar to what we used to see with, with Kent and Maeda. Uh, is there anything to that, anything that perhaps you continue to move forward in this, in this format? I don't know. I, I don't, you know, I'd like to say there isn't anything to it because we view him as a starter and, um, but there is a little slower ramp up, you know, when he makes starts, but today was, was tonight was really good from the outset. And, um, but I just love the way Julio's just embraced, you know, whatever we ask of him, uh, he's all in. And that's just a credit to the person. You and I talked about it a bit there at the end of the third inning, but Joe Kelly, a lot of curveballs there in the first. Is he working on something there or just uh, kind of getting behind hitters too early on? No, you know, he, I was just thinking about it. He, he's fastball, curveball change. And um, and I look back and those curveballs that were hit were, were not terrible pitches. Um, but I, I do think that as we look out, a little bit of kind of, changing the mix or, or adding some some fastballs in there, kind of keeping those guys honest, uh, makes some sense. But, you know, when he's right, that curveball is as good as anyone in baseball. Blake Trinan is one of your high leverage guys and will continue to do so for you. Uh, what do you see from him in terms of that home run? Well, you know what? And, and honestly, I haven't looked at the pitch yet, but I, it just looked like the ball was in off. And sometimes you got to give credit to the hitter. And so, uh, Loriano likes the ball in it might have been a, a tick uh, higher than it should have been but it's still uh, you know it looked like it was in off and for him to keep that baseball fair um, I thought Blake threw the ball well obviously the result giving up the homer I know he doesn't feel great but my confidence ha hasn't wavered and with Justin Dave you had mentioned he probably would go five six innings just to get, get him off his off of his legs I'm assuming that was the plan yeah just uh, I want him to take three at bats he played five innings of defense and I just felt that you know, we can't really lose with having Eddie in there. And I wish I could have foreseen a homer uh, <laughs> from Eddie, a game-tying homer. I didn't see that. But, uh, you know, the reason behind it was to make sure that Justin gets out of there feeling good and be ready to go tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, Dave. Yep. Next question from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead, Bill. Yeah, Dave, with uh, Trinan, this isn't a, a one-off. He's given up nine runs in his last six innings. Is he struggling? Do you see something? Um, I, I think on the surface, if you look at the runs, you know, it doesn't look great. And, and Blake's a little frustrated, uh, and rightfully so. But I, I still think, Bill, there's a lot of soft contact in there. Um, obviously, we love the swing and miss. But, uh, you know, even Piscotti to start, the slider that he fillets out to right field and then Loriano hits a homer, which was, which was obviously a good pitch, good piece of hitting. Um, but I think there's been a lot of soft contact in there. So for me, it's just continuing to, uh, we're going to keep running him out there. And, and I believe he's going to continue to put up zeros. With uh, Julio, before the game, you said you were getting more comfortable with the idea of uh, a bullpenning game in the postseason. Where's your comfort level now after watching that? Uh, well, it, it's, it's the, the, it, the driver was Julio um, coming in at some point tonight. So, you know, deciding on who we open with, if we end up doing something like that, that's a different conversation. So I think that uh, tonight um, it didn't work out as far as that first inning. But I think if you look at what Julio did tonight, it was very positive. And I thought we maximized his pitch count uh, as best we could. So that was a good takeaway for us. Walker go tomorrow? Uh, yeah, Walker will Walker will make his start tomorrow. So we're looking forward to getting him back out there. And uh, with Joe Kelly, why is a guy who has a 97 mile an hour fastball throwing 60% curveballs? Yeah, you know what? It, it, it's an elite pitch when it's right. But certainly, Bill, you know, when a major league hitter knows it's coming, and we talked about it maybe before where you saw Estella last night, saw him again today and saw nothing but curveball. So the margin gets a little bit smaller. Um, you got to continue to sequence, but Joe fastball, fastball curveball change. 
and um, it's probably something he's working on. But, uh, you know, as we kind of close out the season, I think the, the balance, it'll be a little bit of a different, uh, you know, percentage. Thanks, Dave. You got it. Next question is from Harlan Kjavnir. Go ahead. Hey, Dave, you kind of touched on, on it with Julio, but when you, you think about his performance and then, you know, Muncy's homer and Bellinger's homer, do you leave this one, despite it being a loss, more encouraged than discouraged? Um, say, so, Rowan, you were talking about the some hitters and then also yeah, with Julio? Uh, yeah, just the fact that the way that Julio performed, the way that, you know, Muncy homered again, the way that Cody homered yeah. again, do you leave this one more kind of encouraged? Absolutely. You know, we got we got beat, and I think that you never like to lose a baseball game, but you got to give credit to the A's. They beat us tonight, um, and we have a chance tomorrow to win the series. But, yeah, if you look at the whole – the game, you know, inside the game, Julio had one of his better outings of the season, and I, I thought Muncy squared – he squared up a couple balls at a homer. Um, Cody hitting a homer tonight. So there was a lot of good things tonight. Eddie coming off the bench, hitting a homer. We got Justin back in there. Um, I expect him to be back in there tomorrow. So, yeah, again, you don't ever like to lose games, but there's still some positives to take away. Thanks. Next question is from Eric Steven. Go ahead. Dave, uh, is there anything you're looking for tomorrow from Walker in terms of length, given that he hasn't had a, pitched in a major league game in about two weeks, but he's also sort of tuning up for, for next week? I, I just, you know, our hope, uh, Eric is just for him to take a regular start and whatever that means. Um, obviously, we'll be mindful of the blister, the finger, the training staff will be on top of it. Um, I think that we have done everything we we've, we could to put him in the best position to get through a start. Um, so, you know, the six and 90 would obviously be the goal, something like that to get him ready for the postseason. But, you know, we'll go inning by inning and, and see how Walker's feeling. Thanks. Yep. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, guys.